there are 8 billion on people on Earth and it would be better if there were none. That's dark. Yeah. That's I'm really like, dark. hey, buddy, you can start with yourself, yeah. you know? Yeah, no, See if you really want to, <laughs> you know, make a difference. So I'm about yeah. uh, you know, take your own advice here. Um, but it, but that, that's like a crazy viewpoint, you know? You see, there's a growing sentiment in some political circles that the solution to our problems lies in depopulating the Earth. This idea that reducing the number of people on this planet will somehow solve our challenges doesn't sit well. We understand the concerns about overpopulation, dwindling resources, and environmental degradation. These are real issues that we need to address, but the solution isn't in limiting the number of human beings. Life on Earth will still continue. Um, I mean, the calamities that Earth has suffered where life continued afterwards, like gigantic meteorite impacts, super volcanoes, the continents drifting all over the place. Uh, there have been times in Earth's past where it's been like a total snowball or it's been absolutely sweltering hot. And, um, you know, life, you know, we, we had extinct, many extinction events, but there were, uh, but life continued. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, you know, we, like we, didn't, we don't see the dinosaurs now, but they've had a good run for, you know, whatever, 100 plus million years. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, so even if there's catastrophic climate change on Earth, life continues. Um, it just may not be the life as we know it. It'll, it may not be humans, it'll be something else. Um, so what we're talking about with climate change is not a threat to all life on Earth, but really maybe a, a threat to human humans or and dislocation of humans if there's low-lying countries that, um, you know, the water level rises and now they're underwater type of thing. So... Um, so, I, I mean, I think one just needs to strike the right balance by saying, like, look, over time we need to move to a sustainable energy economy and we we can't just keep taking billions of tons of carbon from deep underground and putting it in the atmosphere mm -hmm. and expect nothing will happen forever. Yeah. Um, but we also don't need to be alarmist about it and, and super negative and massively disrupt people's lifestyles. I mean, I think people can continue to live a normal life. Yes. And, and they shouldn't be guilty about being human or sort of, frankly, having a stake, it's mm. fine. Humanity is the most incredible resource we have. Our ability to innovate, create, and collaborate has led to some of the most remarkable advancements in history. Instead of depopulation, we should be focusing on finding sustainable solutions and developing technologies that can help us coexist harmoniously with our environment. We firmly believe that our problems can be solved through innovation and collaboration not by reducing the number of people on this planet. We need to encourage education, promote scientific research, and foster a global mindset that values every life and every idea. Together, we can create a future where all of us, and the generations that follow, can thrive. The cost of sustainable energy has mm -hmm. been drop it, dropping tremendously, and you're seeing um, a lot more uh, wind and solar, um, and, uh, you know, pair that with uh, the battery and you've got, uh, you know, continuous power from wind, wind and solar. Uh, that's actually very competitive. Mm -hmm. like, it's so cost competitive. Um, and um, actually one of the one of the nice things about, say, solar battery is you, you don't need to run high power lines all over the place. You can have some, you know, localized uh, solar battery situation on your house or um, factory building or it, it, it's... You, you can kind of decentralize the power generation. It's okay. a, and, and I think that's actually better for people to mm -hmm. have decentralized power generation um, and uh, you know, also decentralized communications. Um, like a lot of places, they skipped all the sort of phone landline stuff and went to cell phones. Yes. In fact, a lot of places um, in the world have way better cell connectivity than, you know, Silicon Valley, which is bizarre. Yeah. <laughs>